state senator to our council persons and to my sister friend and soulmate Gail Brewer. I said last Sunday, a Saturday, that if we were having a fish fry, Gail would stop by. That's her commitment to this community. I uh, want to give a shout out to the community board members who are here this morning. Will you stand? Uh, Vice Chair. Uh, I saw uh, a member of my board. She's back there. Donna uh, Gill. Uh, Donna Gill is here. Okay, and Hart is here. I don't see my other three members who were coming. Oh, there they are. Hey there. Hi, hi. That's what I'm talking about. Good board members, Gail. You got some great people on the community board 10. Caring about their assignments. Uh, they don't come for foolishness and backbiting. They come to serve this community because I can't fool with people that go that way. Let me tell you my commitment to this. I live in Harlem. Uh, my aunt was the first tenant at 45 in Lenox Terrace. So I saw Lenox Terrace as a child, and I, when I went out on the terrace, I thought I was going to heaven. I didn't understand a terrace coming from Montgomery, Alabama. So Harlem is not just Harlem. It's a state of mind and your soul and spirit. And so when Mayor Dinkins uh, appointed me, I was traveling uh, for 18 years to the city, working in government. But when Koch decided that everybody had to be a resident uh, beside firemen and policemen, uh, the late Basil Patterson, who was my godfather, said to me, you know the post don't like you, so you got to move. And they gave me 24 hours to move. And so I had to go to East 68th Street uh, to the Rudin Building. And I said uh, to Lou, who's deceased now, I tell you what, I'm going to sign a lease, but I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to Harlem. Harlem is home for me. And he said, okay, whatever you want, Hazel, whatever you want, he won't, you know, want me to start in the trouble. And so I did sign the lease, and of course, as fate would have it, uh, the mayor lost the election. I brought him to East 6 Day Street uh, when Drew Landis said he had to get out in 24 hours. And then I left him on East 6th Day Street and came to 135th. And so that's the story. But Barbara Atkins, I was just saying to my good friend, uh, Proko Janelle, who we go back many years together in social activities in the links and all our other stuff, that this woman is a one woman crusader for this community. And when I find people who are dedicated and really have at heart what they're doing, not for show, not for money. But this woman worked 24-7 for this community. And so when Brian called me, the senator called me, he was in over the community board, he said what they had talked about. Uh, I said, yes, we'll take it on. And I went back to the health committee and said to them, and we invited Robert to come. We invited people from the sanitation. We invited clergy to come, uh, we invited, well, we, the school, there's a transition, as the borough president know, we got a new uh, regional superintendent, we're going to be meeting her uh, in the next few weeks, but we did have the school on board for our education, and I said to Barbara, Barbara, this is, we're in this for a long haul, I give three years, because we got to educate our community, we got to educate our community, we got to educate the vendors who are here, we got to work, as uh, the senator said, it can't be them and us. We got to pull everybody together to talk about what it is for our community, black and white, Jew and Gentile. This is no separate issue. Cleanliness and health is a major issue for all of us. Health is wealth. If you're not healthy, nothing else matters. And so we got to get this message out. And so we decided, I got up at I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. I was in Washington, D.C. I promised Barbara I would be here. The suitcase and myself marched in here a few minutes ago. Suitcase and all. 
because I have made a commitment to this, to Barbara, to him, Bid, to help our community. This is not about Bid and Hazel Dukes. This is about Harlem, our community where we live, where we shop, where we walk up and down the street. We don't want to walk in garbage. We don't want to walk in trash. This is our home. I said to people in Lenox Terry, this is not your apartment, this is your home. Get the dog poop out of here. This is your home. When I walked, I wanted to be just like it was on East 68th Street, a clean, healthy Harlem. And so this is a long haul. For all of you here today, join us. Talk to your neighbors. Say to them that this is a campaign for all of us all of us got to be an ambassador this. You got to go to the church. You got to tell your minister, look, if we're going to have our food, we got to clean up. We're going to sell, we got to clean up. You're going to be on the sidewalk with your goods, fine. Clean up before you leave. Don't leave garbage in front of your car. Because we're going to ask uh, the Consumer Affairs to look at these people. And if they're not willing to work with us, then we don't want to put anybody out of business. We know that it's our culture for people to sell, but you gotta be clean. You gotta help us. And so I am dogmatic about this issue. I raised hell about this issue. I already talked to the mayor and the sanitation woman. We're gonna get our share. Our girl president said it. They looked at everybody but us. And I said to the mayor, listen, Mr. Mayor, I had his ear again on Sunday. Mr. Mayor, don't forget Harlem because you need us and we need you. That's what I said to him on Sunday. And so we need all of you, but all of you here, not only the, the ambassadors for cleaner Harlem, but the ambassadors to go out and vote. Let me hear you say that word. I didn't hear it. Because when we make a demand, people look at the record. They look at records. And so we got to bring that up. So when I go to the borough president and say, borough president, I want you to go with me to talk to the commissioner of sanitation with Barbara. We want to increase the number of pickups we have in Harlem. All of these people have come, we can't have the same pickup in Harlem. So that's on our agenda. Come to our meetings. Don't sit home and watch as the world is turning because it's really turning. We need you the third Monday at 6.30 at Community Board 10 office where we are planning and discussing what the next step should be. We need all of you here. Barbara is talking about her likes already, trying to eat a hot dog, and she's telling me she needs $70,000. I, I, I got choked. She said, oh yeah, because we're going to have lights flickering, and you can have a float with lights flickering on that. I mean, before we got to this meeting today, she's already planning for Christmas. And didn't we look good last year? Didn't you feel good to walk up and down 124th Street to see it? This is because it's the vision of this woman and the board of being. So let's help them. It's our community. It's all of us in together. We have some elected officials who have pledged, our borough president, our state senator, our councilman, we met with him, we've had a conversation with uh, councilman, I see his staff is here. Uh, he's gonna do great things like Inez Dickens did for us and we're gonna get some money in his budget, <clears throat> discretionary funds in his budget to uh, assist us, I'm claiming it already today. And so let's get it together. Can we do this, Harlem? Yes. Can we do this community? Yes. It's for all of us, and especially for our children. We're going to be going into the schools in uh, District 5. 
We're going to be talking to our children. We got some great literature that'll be fun for them to understand. So let's do it together. I love Barbara Atkins. I love this woman because she is a one woman show. Not the show and tell, but the real thing, the real deal. Thank you so much.